Hi everyone, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, I'm going to talk about 10 ways to make the chords for an existing song a lot more interesting. You can call the process as chord substitution, reharmonization as a lot of people call it, or just tricks to make a folk song or a pop song or a rock song or a ballad. Basically songs which are not already complex ba songs which are diatonic which would have chords pretty much in the major scale that would be if you're in the key of c major c major d minor e minor f major g major a minor b diminished c so pretty much those seven diatonic chords so let's say you have a song like that and we shall then look at various methods in fact 10 methods which I've designed in this uh, series to help you reharmonize songs. Okay, so we'll take the popular one Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. Na 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 that David played and it pleased the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So pretty much simple chords. I'll break down the chords uh, in the beginning and then we'll try and reharmonize it using a variety of techniques. So lots to learn in this series, guys. Before we start, it'll be awesome if you can hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for regular notifications, which will inform you of future videos which we put out riffs and lessons on our YouTube channel. So first off, let's do Hallelujah with the default chords. So um, I'll just sing it and play you the chords. So na, 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 secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. That's C major, A minor, C major, A minor for the most part. I heard there was a secret chord, A minor, that David played C major and pleased the Lord, A minor. When you don't F, be careful, mu G. C, G. Well, it goes C like this, the fourth, the fifth. The fourth, the fifth is literally the fourth and the fifth chord of the C major scale, which is F major and G major. It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall. Minor fall, which is the A minor, six minor. Minor fall and the major lift. That's the F major chord, which is the four major. The baffled king composing, hallelujah. Now the baffled king composing, you could do the baffled king composing. You can do E minor, but I think it's a lot nicer. And in a lot of versions, we go the baffled king composing. We leave the scale of C major and go to this E 7th chord which takes you neatly to Hallelujah A minor Hallelujah F major Hallelujah A minor Hallelujah F again Hallelujah G Hallelujah C A minor. So your intro could be like a C major, A minor, C major, and it's generally on a 6 8 feel. Most versions we hear, including the original, are on a 6 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4. Let's revise that again. I heard there was a secret chord, A minor, that David played and it pleased, A minor. C. Da, 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 G. Well, it goes like C, the fourth F, the fifth G, the minor four A minor, the major lift F, the baffled G, king composing E seventh, hallelujah, A minor, repeat A minor, hallelujah, stay on F major, hallelujah, stay on A minor for an extra bar, hallelujah. Okay, so that's the track. Now, let's look at 10 ways to reharmonize this. All of these ways 
are quite easy if you think about it they are all based on simple music theory concepts like intervals the circle of fifths so do make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video or what will end out end up being a uh, a part series so the do follow along to the entire series we may not be able to squeeze in all the 10 parts into one youtube video that will make it like a like a movie or something so let's get cracking with the first method which i call or which we all call as ad chords so what is an ad chord an ad chord is something you add to an existing triad so if it's a major or a minor chord if you take c major you can add a 2 in this case the d it's called an add 2 or you can add the f not so common with the f on the 1 chord it's more adding the 2 you could also add the 6th that would make it a major 6th in any case or you can add a flat 6 but this may not work because it's you're going to then leave the scale so you can figure out these add notes so an add note is a 2 a 4 or a 6th and start with it being diatonic that means it should be part of the c major scale so let's see what we can work out and this is for the most part so i'm not saying you do add chords for the whole song right you just use it to spice up chords when you see fit when you like the vibe of the add chord and there are going to be 10 methodologies to Uh, substitute and harmonize chords so this is just one of them so there are quite a few and to supplement this lesson there are notes on patreon there are a lot of my handwritten notes which will help you learn the song and the concepts which i use uh, in this song very very well so do head over to patreon get yourself a copy of the notes so you go the the revised version of the chords the same triad c major a minor c major a minor could now be revisited using our uh, reharmonized uh, so this could now be revisited using the add chord so i heard there was a secret chord so what did i do there both i did add twos i heard there was a secret chord that's a with a b a minor with a b that david played you could now do that add 6 that david played and it pleased the lord please please the lord now in some cases an add could be used more with a suspended function that means you're hitting it but then it needs to come back to the triad so if i take an a minor with an add flat 6 which which is diatonic to the key of c major right so i have it played and it pleased the lord then it pleased the lord so you could kind of drop that f down to the e and that works really well let's see i heard there was a secret chord all add twos now that gave it played so you could do the sus4 which is c sus4 resolving to the major to third that gave it played so you're doing the sus4 resolving to the major third then we don't call it an add chord we call it a sus chord that david played and it pleased the lord so add chords i heard there was a secret chord add to that david played sus and it pleased the lord pleased the lord that you know that you don't you could even do an add four for an f you may want to change your melody or consider or but you don't really care for me it kind of works because it's a suspension on the f it kind of works very well for the f chord even though it takes you a bit out of c major scale with that b flat no you don't really care for music do you with the g you can always do a sus4 or an add4 well it goes like this the fourth the fifth that's an add4 the minor four we can add 
that flat six or the and two and the major lift. You can even do like an F add sharp four. Major lift makes it a very Lydian sound. The baffle king, that's G. flat too if you like that exotic sound hallelujah hallelujah you can get in that uh, sharp four back to an add two hallelujah sus four So that's how you can add add chords. So you do add two, add four, add six. The two can, in rare cases, be a flat two. It could also be an add sharp four on the four chord, giving you that Lydian vibe. The uh, add six could be an add normal six, major six, or the major sixth with a flat, uh, or the major chord with a flat in sixth. Or you can do suspensions where you don't add, you remove the third, play the sus, and then come down to the third. Okay, so that's basically about playing Hallelujah using add chords and sus chords. Right. So another way to make this chord progression a lot more sophisticated is using what we call as uh, chord extensions or jazz tensions trying to add jazz tension so i have a few tricks with regard to that because i didn't start with um, you know knowing the theory of these ninth chords and elevenths and even sevenths for that matter so i developed a few tricks or, uh, along the way while playing pop ballads or any song for that matter so one way of thinking of extensions is a seventh and try to see if the seventh for the most part would be diatonic so you can change every triad or augment every triad like a C major with a major seventh okay in some cases it can be an overkill but another way to add an extension could be a sixth so mostly a seventh is considered an extension so you can play it with with extended sevens i heard there was now you may want to re you may want to consider playing these seventh chords with a specific inversion or a voicing like hiding that seventh down below i like that sound it works for me so i heard there was a secret chord a minor seventh that David played and it pleased the Lord that you don't really care for so what did I do there I did an F major 7th you don't you could also add that G in making it a major 9th we'll talk about that very shortly you don't really care for music that's a G7 sus4 G7 sus4 works quite well oh well it goes like this the fourth the fifth dominant the minor chord and the major lift the baffle king composing composing anyways an e7th A minor seventh, Hallelujah. F major seventh, Hallelujah. A minor seventh, Hallelujah. You can do an a, uh, you can do an F major seventh with a, sh a sharp four, making it more Lydian. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah.
Okay. Now, a quick trick to make these extensions sound even more sophisticated is, if it's a major chord. So there are three general types of chords we use in songs: major, minor, and dominant. Okay. Dominant would be the five chord generally of the scale, or it'll have that seven flat in the chord. So if you are on a major chord like C major. How do you make C major more sophisticated? So a quick trick would be go up a perfect fifth from C. That would be G, and play G major chord with a C bass. So that's like a G over C. That immediately gives you those nines, elevens, and all those cool extensions. So I heard there was. It's a nice way of playing it, I think. I heard there was. Same story with the A minor, a secret chord. That's A minor with an E on the top, E minor on the top. So A, A, B, C, D, E, perfect fifth E. Play an E minor, not E major. That'll take you off scale. So I heard there was a secret chord that David played, and it pleased the Lord. See which inversion. So you're actually just playing triads. If you think about it, you're just playing simple triads. But with that bass, the intervals change, and you start gaining all the jazz tensions and all the nine, eleven, and the thirteen intervals, which you would have not got if you just played triads. But the irony is, you're still playing triads, thinking simple. Play the bass note of the chord in the left. Go up a perfect fifth. And just play a minor for a minor chord, or play a major chord for a major chord. So, and now for the F, same story. Now F is also a nice Lydian sound. So to get a Lydian vibe, that you don't really care for me. You can go up a major second and play a major chord. So F. Major second G, G major over F. You don't really, or you can go the other approach, which is go up a perfect fifth. You don't really, okay. And then when you're on the G, care for music. How I like voicing. It's pretty much the chord root with another triad in your right hand or in the treble clef. So to get a G to sound more sophisticated, you can do. From you, you can either go down a tone or up a minor seventh. You for you, that'll be F slash G. Care for music, care for music, or you can go up a perfect fifth. Care, but play a minor chord instead of the major, so that you remain in the key. Care for you, so that's what you do over a dominant. Do ya? Hey, well, it goes like this. The fourth, when the chords change very fast, you can just play normal triads like how it was composed. The fifth, the minor fourth. That's the jazzy one. And the major lift, or major lift. If you don't like it, you can avoid it for a chord or two. You don't have to do it with every chord. I'm just doing an overkill to show you the concept. Okay. The baffle, the baffle king composing. It's already dominant. Sounds good there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like that C over F. Hallelujah. Do like normal major seventh chords, minor seventh chords, or dominant seventh chords, or seven sus fours, or you can ex extend it even further. So see the notes. I've written down some of the extension options for you. Some of them will not sound great, even to my ear. I wouldn't want to use this everywhere, but it's good to have the power to do it whenever you need to. You may even do it just once in the whole. 
track you know or in the whole verse or chorus but that one time you do it people will be like wow what did what did the guy do you know so let's move on to one more sophistication for the song moving forward so now we are going to do what i call as passing slash chord so what happens here is you take the existing chord structure na 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 and figure out a chord in between the two chords especially when the two chords are well pretty much all the time so you can go c major anyway it's going down to a minor so my suggestion to figure out these passing slash chords is study your left hand study your bass which is going c a c a so what is between c and a diatonically that's a b right so i heard there was a secret chord that ta na na which on its own sounds good even with the c major floating in the right hand na 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 but if you feel there's a little bit of dissonance there at that particular point you could now ask yourself what chord has b in it and you need to find ideally a major chord which has b in it which wherein b is not the root of that major chord so g major becomes that obvious chord because g has a b in the bass right so that what are we doing with these passing slash chords the reason why it's slashed out that means a triad with another note as its base as part of the same triad is so that we don't get a very obvious triadic sound like you don't want to do i heard there was a secret chord now we've actually made the g major to be an actual triad in the song right so i heard there was a secret chord that works in a subtle way and it also provides a great bass movement downward to the a minor i heard there was a secret chord that david played and it pleased the lord okay na 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 na, na. and now if you want to go to f major you you have two options that david played and it pleased the lord that you that's g o b please the lord a minor mm, oh i love that chord that's a c over e oh you oh just makes it very brave oh that's incidentally our very own friend c major but played with an e bass that that's no longer to me that's no longer c major that's c over e that's a completely different vibe and a completely different chord so let's study that na 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 oh da di 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 that's g over b the passing that david played and it pleased the lord oh you don't okay c over e you don't now if you don't like c over e to f you can also do can do c over g going down to f na 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 yeah you can do that drop or even a g major f if you want it something to feel subtle da 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 the david played and it pleased the lord and then you Okay, chords are very fast. F na 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 na. But another thing you could try out. You don't really care for. You see, there's a semitone between F and G. This F sharp is a nice note to play. Ba ba ba. But then this needs to be harmonized with a major chord. So you don't really. D major over F sharp will be beautiful. You don't really care for music, do you? Okay, I got carried away there, but you don't really care for music. G O B, Luya. Well, it goes like this: the fourth. The could do that for the again d over f sharp 
because it's leading or yearning to the fifth G major, the that's E seventh, which is over or E major over G sharp minor fall A minor, and the major lift the bath the baffle king composed. Now I like now check that out. The baffle you can go down. King composing. I really like that. The drop down. Powerful king composing. G over F. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I will keep doing that because I like that vibe. C over F. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You can do a G major going to A as a passing. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. I love that G over B. Hallelujah. Right. So passing chords will add another chord. So uh, the definition of what I'm calling a passing slash chord is it's a major chord without its root as a base, which is used in between. So you can't just add the chord and expect time to just you know move. Uh, swiftly no it won't time of the chord will remain so c major will be six counts a minor will be six counts depending on how you count it so you have to sneak in or squeeze in the passing flavor uh, in between the chords so that's about passing chords we've covered basically the idea of add chords or suspension chords then we looked at chord extensions the jazzy chords to give you sevens nines elevens and so on and we've now looked at the passing flavors now this is part of a three part series so do stay tuned to the next part which will be on our youtube channel and the best way to stay tuned is just hit that bell icon for regular notifications subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and stay tuned um Another thing which would help, we we I've written down a booklet with all the variations, all the extensions, the theory in detail. It's waiting for you on our Patreon. It's like an entire booklet, so that'll be a great supplementary resource while you watch these videos. And if you have any questions, if you have any doubts, you could always chat about it in the comments, uh, or you can consider joining some of my live virtual workshops courses. From time to time, courses are very regular. You can just fill up a form on nathanielschool.com. Check out the links in the description, and I will catch you in that next part. Don't forget to watch the next part. You're gonna get it, and it'll be quite easy for you to understand. And the good thing about this series is, even though I'm talking about the song Hallelujah, I'm also suggesting that these methods can be used for any song you have to play. You can even do it with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or Happy Birthday. or a bollywood song or a, a a folk song or a heavy metal song i think okay let's move forward